Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 1 of my new Let's Play, of which you should know the title of by now, due to the video title above my head. Well, not above my head, above Mud Duck's head there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is the, this is the game I made that video about. This is not going to be like a main Let's Play or anything, it's kind of going to be a side Let's Play, but let's just watch the intro here. G. U. B. B. L. E. And then a random cutoff in the music for some reason. It happened in outer space. But in case you didn't hear me before, it happened in outer space. What happened in outer space, Mr. Mysterious Voice Person? Oh, look, it's an alien getting abducted by an alien spaceship. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Suddenly, Gubble is taken away by an alien spaceship. Oh no! What's gonna happen to Gubble, who we know nothing about at all? To where has he been taken? I don't know. Maybe you'll know if you listen to the story in that one video I made, but... Yeah. Your mission is to remove all the nails which have been hammered into this planet. What? Why would I, why would I need to do that? That's just... Retarded. Retarded. Okay. What? Oh my god. He's being chased by gears or something? Why do I have to do such a thing? Exactly. That's what I was just saying. So everyone, this is Gubble. This is the game that I hinted at. Um, as I said, it's not going to be a main Let's Play or anything, because it's going to be kind of short. But, this is one of the lesser known games of the PS1. And yes, I am playing this on an actual PS1, not an emulator. And, uh, first off, I just want to say I love the music in this game. This is just stellar music. Anyways, um, so yeah, I guess we're just gonna get started on this game, and by the way, what you're watching right now is a world first. There has never been a single Let's Play of this game done anywhere on the internet. No screenshots, no video walkthroughs, oh, there's video walkthroughs and there's other walkthroughs too, but none with commentary or anything. So yeah, um, basically I guess all that's left is just get into the game. So there's two difficulty levels here, Novice and Expert. But this is kind of different from other games that have different difficulty levels. Levels. If you pick expert, uh, the enemies aren't going to be harder or faster or anything like that. No. But if you pick expert, you will have two extra worlds, like two more worlds than novice. But these two difficulty levels have different endings to them. So I'm going to play through novice for the first three worlds to show you that ending, and then I'm going to go back and play expert for the last two worlds. But I won't show the first three worlds of expert because you've already seen that, obviously. And I'll get to show both endings of them. Alright, so uh, without further ado, let's just get started here. And we dropped on the planet Renegar. And we this is basically the overworld, the world map. And we're going to the first Zimbot. That's what these levels are, call, are called. Zimbots, at least according to the story. So here's the first one. They don't have specific names or anything, just... Zimbot 1 of Planet Renegar. Okay, best time, 25 seconds. Basically, what you have to do in this is you have to... Be, you take Gubble around and you pick up these weird tools in each Zimbot. And you take that tool and you just go around trying to remove all the nails, screws, whatever's on the level. Or on the Zimbot, I mean. And yeah, over here, this is our first introduction to a bonus Zimbot. Did he just say cheeseburger or was that just me? Whatever. So yes, yeah, so this is a bonus Zimbot. There you go. And what you do in these bonus Zimbots is you go around trying to collect as many of these tools as you can. You don't get to ride them or anything. No, you just go around trying to collect them. Yep. And uh, yeah, that thing I just picked up there—that was a speed sign thing. So pick it up and you go faster. And that coin right there multiplies your score by five for the bonus Zimbot. Which is awesome. At least I think that's what it does. I'm not sure. And we got another speed up sign. 
If you pick up more than one of those speed up signs in a row, they will stack, just to let you know. So, like, you will go, like, four times as fast or something, I don't know. And just so happens that for completing that bonus Zimbot, we get our very own speed sign in the normal Zimbot. Yep. And looks like with that, we are done this Zimbot. Get... Yeah, your score gets based upon whether you, you got the best time, whether you got whether you took no damage or not, and how much health you have left at the end of each level. At the end of each Zimbot. I have to get used to calling them Zimbots, damn it. Yep. And these little star trophies that you can pick up here on the field, uh, they are... They are worth 5,000 points, I think. I don't know, you can look at my score and tell me that. Tell me if I'm right. And also, what I should mention, uh, you can press the X button here, and you will hover like that. And this is really useful for, like, hovering over enemies and stuff. And if you're about to be hit, like, if you're sti if you're sitting on a tool while well, about to be hit by an enemy, you'll, um, and you press the X button to hover like this, you won't get take any damage, and the enemy will just turn around from hitting the tool. So that can be a useful tactic to avoid damage. Yep. And this game, like, it looks really easy right now, and it is. And this is one of my favorite songs of this game. I believe I used this song in the, uh, speed, in the montage for Ocarina of Time that was in the most recent episode for the soft soil patches. But yeah, like I was saying, this, this game looks really easy, and is so far. But, um, in later levels, like, even in World 2, um, it gets extremely, extremely difficult, like, Seriously, you will see what I mean. And that's the end of Zimbot 2, which is awesome. Alright. Yeah, this might be one of my more boring LPs too, because really, what, what can you talk about while doing this? You're just doing the same thing over and over and over again. They do add different twists and different levels though, so... Yeah, the starting of this game is going to be rough, but... I think once we get into it, you'll all enjoy it. I know I will. I never actually beat this game, not even the novice mode surprisingly enough because it just for as a kid it was way too hard for me I don't think I ever got past world 2 as a kid and I did a little bit of a practice run j just recently and I only got into like the first few levels of world 3 before I got the game over first few Zimbots of world 3 damn it oh god don't hit that thing no yeah see that's what I'm talking about they'll just hit your tool like that and start going in the opposite direction yep yeah, I believe this game actually, has, I think it has 25 different songs in it, and all of them are awesome. Oh my god, I'm going too fast. I can't control myself. I'm going too fast. Do a barrel roll. Okay, I just stopped talking there for some reason. I don't know why. It's not like I had to concentrate intently to do whatever I just did, like going to square. Alright. Yeah, so this game is going pretty fast so far, but this is basically the tutorial world of this game, so... It's to be expected. Okay, here's the fourth Simbot. Yep, yeah, fourth Simbot. Nice. And now we have a hammer here, which is awesome. We can remove nails. And, ooh, this music sounds kind of spooky and ominous, doesn't it? Ah! Uh, oh, I took damage. There goes my no damage bonus. Jeez. I'm surprised they didn't get hit by that thing, that stupid gear. Gears. <laughs> Alright. Yep. Now that I'm done explaining everything, there's really nothing much to talk about in this game. I mean, look, look, I'm going around. I'm, I'm removing nails with a hammer. Oh my gosh. Aren't you just so envious of me? I know this play kind of sucks, but maybe that's why no one's LP'd it in the past. Because it's it's a stupid game. But no, I think it's a really awesome game, and I wanted to share it with the world. So that's why I'm doing this. I broke his spleen! I broke his spleen! I don't know what he says there, but whatever. Yeah, he has... I think the language that he speaks is called Gubblees or something. I remember that from the instruction booklet. Smart. Oh, it looks like we have another special thing over here, which, well, it's actually a special level. And it looks like we are starting to run low on time here. Hmm, this level looks simple enough, doesn't it? I don't believe this is a Zimbot, really. It's just a special zone, kind of. 
But yeah, I think we're going to get started on this special zone in the next episode because we are just past 10 minutes here and I want to end it off. So, thank you all for watching. Looks like the best time is 80 seconds on this. I'm going to pause it. So, yeah, thank you all for watching the first episode of Gubble. Hopefully it'll get more interesting from here on out. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.